Hey y'all, Tyler from OTR Outdoors. So, I'm out camping, first night in, and we're gonna do a bunch of stuff over the next couple days, but got in tonight, got out my big ax, knew it was a little loose, and was chopping up some extra firewood, and it's definitely, hopefully y'all can hear that, it's definitely loose. So, I've got an extra ax handle, so we're gonna burn this off so I can get this all ready for tomorrow, so we can rehang it tomorrow. So first of all, what we're going to do is take this over to a stump, bury it into a stump, and we're going to cut off the handle right here. Burn the axe out right here where it's nice dirt. So I'm gonna dig this out a little bit with my e-tool, get some of these rocks out of the way, get down to some good soil. We can stick this down in there. My flat rock will save that. Might come in handy. more that handle off but that's all right with it being as loose as it is I don't think it's gonna take very much to get it to burn out so let our fire get going a little bit more get some more hot coals bigger stuff going and uh, let this start slowly cooking you don't want to add up too much because you don't want that heat to transfer all the way down your your axe head don't mess up your temper Yes, I have done this before. Uh, broke a handle on a trip. First night out. Should yeah, should be able to tap that out pretty easy. Yeah. So I'm gonna move some of these coals back in the fire pit. warm but we should be good set this up here on this big flat rock I got get the rest of these coals back in the fire and then I'll get back with y'all all right y'all so there's our axe head I'm gonna let this sit overnight and air cool it is warm but it is definitely not hot but I'm gonna let it sit and cool all night 
and we'll tap out the end. Tomorrow, get a big burn on this side. Should definitely be able to knock that out pretty easy. I'll catch y'all in the morning. All right, y'all. So we have our axe head. We're gonna knock this out. I think I actually pulled this little wedge out. Oh, look at that. So there's our wedge. We're gonna save that and put that back in here. go nice clean there's what's left probably should have burned for another 30 minutes or so but like I said it was more than enough to knock it out but and you gotta remember you're doing all this stuff you gotta remember you're doing all this stuff in the field and so you don't have something to hold on to your axe good so I'm using my hand I should have had my gloves on but it's all right <laughs> didn't hurt myself but next time definitely want to have my gloves on since our handle is a bit too small for this at least you know how to burn out the eye so you can hang a new one just don't quite have a big enough handle so I'll go ahead and end this video here um, but that's how you burn one out and then knock it out at the end um, like I said, I probably should have burned it out for another 30 minutes or so and made it a little bit easier. Um, it wasn't a super hard one to get out with the burning that I did. Um, biggest problem is you're doing this all without anything to hold, without building anything to hold it down. You're going to make sure you bury your axe head really good in good dirt. Um, that way you're protecting the temper of your blade. And honestly, I could have gone a little bit deeper on mine. The, the temper on this thing is fine, I can tell. But I could have gone a little bit deeper just to give it that extra half inch of protection from the heat, the insulation of the dirt from the heat. It is going to transfer heat down, but if you do it slowly, uh, it's going to burn that out long before you ever get close to a close enough temperature to mess with your temper of your, of your axe. But that's how you burn it out. Sorry I can't hang this one. Uh, like I said, the handle I have isn't quite big enough. Um, I'm going to town on Monday, uh, grab a new axe handle. Uh, I'll probably stay at a hotel one night. Uh, that way I can upload all these videos for one. Because I'm doing this one and a couple more while I'm out this weekend. So, um, get a new axe handle. And then when I come back out to the field again, um, with a new handle, we'll hang this out here in the field. So, but that's how you do it. Remember, there's always a storm coming. Keep your powder dry, your action knife sharp, and iron your back trail. We'll see you all next time.